Welcome into a brand new live edition of Sports Center. I am Doug Kazarian. Cleveland fan base certainly tortured. No championship in more than 50 years. It looked like gloom and doom after game one. Plus, no Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, but LeBron and Delhi lead the Cavs to a big game two victory. And all of a sudden, a lot more optimism in the city of Cleveland with the series tied 1 1 heading to the land. And that's where we welcome in ESPN radio host Aaron Goldhammer. Live on Sports Center, Aaron. After today's show, how do your callers compare to the show on Friday after Kyrie Irving's injury in Game One? Well, we went from the lowest of the low <laughs> to the highest of the high in Cleveland in about 48 hours. Welcome to the NBA playoffs. Um, after Kyrie's injury, everyone was saying, "Oh, I see. Here we go again. Another example of the Cleveland curse." And then today, people are confident again. We asked our fans today, do you believe that the Cavs have a real chance to win this series? And a lot of people are saying yes. One other thing I'll say on this, you know, while there were some people depressed, obviously, and for real reasons after the Kyrie injury, I was really impressed with the confidence that Cleveland ha uh, fans have had throughout this entire playoff run. I think a lot of it comes from the fact that we've got LeBron back here and some s swagger from that decision that he made last summer. Um, but I, I did not sense the doom and gloom that I think a lot of people expected after the Kyrie injury, that it lingered for very long. I think people were upset, but then they bounced back and got ready for game two. From afar, we hear about the Cleveland sports drought over 50 years without a major professional championship. And you hear the sayings, God must really hate Cleveland, given all the head scratching moves over the year, the fumble, the drive, everything else. But take us into the hearts and minds of a Cleveland fan. What exactly does it feel like out there? Well, look, uh, I think people feel like this is the best chance Cleveland has had to win a championship since 1964. And it, the excitement is palpable. Everywhere around town, you've got finals banners and everyone is wearing Cavs gear. And now that the city is trans uh, transitioning into the home of the finals, the host of the finals for game three tomorrow night, um, I, I think there's a level of excitement. I've lived in Cleveland for 10 years that I probably haven't felt here before. You know, I'd also say in, in playoff runs of the past, I was here for the 2007 Indians. They had a 3-1 lead in the ALCS and some Cavs runs. Everyone was kind of just waiting for the other shoe to drop. This time around, I think there's a real taste, a real feeling in the air that something different is happening with this team. You know, we'll find out over the next 10 days whether that's real or whether it's, it's just a false sense of security. <laughs> All right, so the glass half full at least. Well, first things first, Cavs picked up their first NBA Finals win in franchise history. Series tied 1-1, headed back to Cleveland. What do you anticipate for an atmosphere tomorrow night at the Q? So LeBron laid down the gauntlet last night that our fans have to be better than the fans in Oakland. And that'll be tough because Warrior fans are great. It's been one of the toughest buildings to win in the league over the last couple of years. But I expect tomorrow night to be one of the loudest NBA arenas ever. And I declared on the air today, people sitting courtside, I don't want anybody on their phones texting their friends or just there to be seen. If you're not making noise, I personally will come down courtside and kick you out of the arena and bring in a fan that is going to go nuts. This has to be an electric atmosphere, in part because, guys, now that the Cavs won game two, if they just clean up at home and win the rest of these home games, Cleveland has its first championship since 1964. All right. The fans are the key. I guess that's why they call you the hammer, right? Setting the tone <laughs> out in Cleveland at the queue. That's Aaron Goldhammer, who hosts ESPN Radio in Cleveland, joining us here live on SportsCenter.